Hello guys, this is DAK, and today we have uh, part two of the manager mode uh, for Wade and Athletic, and uh, if you want to see part one, you can click right there. And uh, today, it's pretty much me going to be talking about how to manage a team with a smaller budget compared to the larger teams with a larger budget. Um, so, as you can see, uh, my first step to doing this uh, is going through your players and adding them all to the transfer list. And... The reason being, you have to figure out who you want to continue to build your team around and who is just there until you can get a better player. Uh, as you can see, most of my team is below 80 uh, overall, and a lot of them are not worth uh, keeping for the long run. Uh, at this time, my main, my main two players that I want to build around are Theo Welcott, who I just got, and uh, Miechi. Uh, I'm trying to build my team around the pace statistic and uh, or the pace characteristic and so as you can see I'm adding all my players to the transfer list no one is untouchable everyone can be uh, can be moved for the right amount of money the reason is uh, my transfer budget right now is only three million after getting the well cut and uh, the th and the thing is you just have to try to keep your transfer budget budget as large as possible while keeping some decent uh, decent players on the field um, so if you get a good enough offer for anybody they're 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 uh, available to be uh, given away so uh, after I add them all to the transfer list I start getting offers for some of them and that's uh, a good step in the right direction because uh, you just can't you just can't hold on to bad players and just expect them to just automatically start playing better. It just it just doesn't work like that. Although they do, uh, they do like uh, level up in some areas. They still aren't that great. So as you can see, uh, um, I'm starting to go through, and uh, I think I get a transfer offer around here. Uh, so. I keep going and yep I got El Hebzi I got a transfer offer for him he's valued at 4 4.7 million they're offering 3.9 million I uh, pretty much double I pretty much double what they're asking for 7 million cuz they're going to have to pay like he's one of the more important players on my team right now so he's they're going to have to pay an astronomical fee in order to get a player and he's not that great, but compared to the rest of my team, he's worth uh, a good amount. Uh, this player, Mauro Bozzelli, uh, he's, he, I'm not even, I don't even think, he, no, he's not even a starter on my team. So that makes him uh, much more loosely, uh, makes him much more available than some of the other players. But uh, as long as I get a decent offer on him, I'll let him go. The reason being, I just want to, stack funds for the transfer fee or for the transfer funds because even if I don't use them now I'll be able to use them later and right now I play Chelsea and uh, I end up tying them which is very surprising to me um, thanks to this thanks to the pace that I have allowed me to score a nice goal and so uh, we continue to this so each episode's a month in case you haven't realized so this is August so we, uh, I believe I count, I accept this, or I meant to accept this offer, but I accidentally stalled, so I'm going to go back and do that, but, uh, we're going to, ex we're going to counter offer this one for, uh, six, six million, I believe, and, uh, we sent that out, and, uh, just the extra few hundred thousands always makes a difference, especially with a small market team, uh, so now I go back. And I uh, find the offer again. And then I think I uh, sent in a counter offer. So we accepted the offer for Mauro Bizzelli. And we uh, sent in uh, El Hebzi's offer. And now, uh, as you can see, my short list was kind of messed up. I didn't even mean to put some of those players on there. It was kind of an accident, but uh, I was too lazy to take them off, so don't mind that. Uh, so right now I'm going to play uh, Stoke City, and uh, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. So after playing Stoke City, uh, I lost 2-0, uh, which is uh, 
well, I can't expect my team to keep winning uh, because of the players on there. It's not a great team yet. I'm, that's the purpose of this whole thing, to build a good team over time that can win almost all the games. But it doesn't happen in just one transfer season. It takes uh, multiple times to do that. You also have to... Uh, you also have to make sure that all your players are playing to their uh, top quality or else it's not even worth having them on the team and you have to get rid of them uh, or replace them or something. So, so, And it's always good to see what the other teams are doing in your division so you, or in your league so you can see. Uh, so they accepted the offer for El Hebzi and Mauro Bozzelli. Uh, I think they also accepted him. So now we have a much larger uh, budget. The thing is, I'm out of a goalkeeper for this match, and I only have a backup goalkeeper, and I don't even have a second string backup goalkeeper. Uh, I only have one, I believe. So I'm, I go through, and uh, after getting the funds, and I find Sebastian Frey. He's only four and a, four point seven million, about the same as uh, Hebsey's worth, even though we sold him for six million. And his wage is pretty good. And I look through a ton of goalkeepers for like a long time, and uh, it's. It's not FIFA doesn't always reflect the real life of, of the players. So some players are much better in real life than they are than FIFA reflects them in the game. So this is one of the uh, areas where Frey ends up beating out Czech and uh, and Buffon, and so we do end up winning here. And uh, here's the uh, here's some of the uh, gameplay the the uh, highlights of the game. So here's my goal where we had Miachi uh, with, with Miachi I think with his uh, pace he was able to kick it at the goalie and uh, we had the rebound with another player kicking it into the net uh, and so we have and I'm and uh, right now we uh, we do have some trouble uh, getting free and right here see uh, that player 100 set they his worth was like 150000 It's not worth selling someone for that cheap. Uh, so they said their minimum was eight, $8 million to release him, but we put an offer of $7.5 million, and it does end up panning out. We saved the five hundred k and uh, we get uh, Sebastian Frey. And uh, although we give up an Arab player, which is always unfortunate, we do, we do, uh, we do end up... Uh, improving the team in the end so uh, at this point we are uh, like almost at the beginning of the season there's a few more days left in the transfer season or in the transfer yeah in the transfer season and uh, we don't have much more to do we've we really worked on the wings uh, this this transfer season and the goalie um, and now we're trying to starting to plan what we're gonna do for the next transfer season and uh, maybe work on defense and a striker. Uh, Kone is okay, but we can always do better. Um, so we have Sebastian Frey now. He's uh, we slot him into the lineup, and we start the next match. So now we're playing uh, Doncaster, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Unfortunately, we lost this game, and. Uh, it was more of a, it was more of a luck sort of thing. Not really much skill, uh, involved. Uh, so we have uh, Alcaraz, and we do counter offer for a little bit more, and uh, I don't think they accept this um, because the reason why is you don't just give away your players for nothing. You have to give them away for. Not even what they're worth, but more than what they're worth. That's the only reason why it's worth putting them all on the transfer list. Uh, it might make some of them disgruntled, but it's all right in this uh, this early because these players aren't part of your long-term team. Uh, you got to select which ones are going to be part of your long-term team and then make a separate list of ones that you just don't care about. Even though they are uh, currently important players for your team, they're still... They're just not part of the long term, and uh, I, I think we end up selling this guy, uh, Ben Watson. Uh, I believe we set, sell him for a good, maybe four million, four and a half million. I'm not sure what we end up selling him for, and so, 
Yeah, I think we go for four million on this one, and I, I believe they do accept, and that's always a good thing. So now we uh, slightly increase this transfer budget for the following season. Uh, yeah, so they meet with his agent, and um, so there's five hours left in the trade deadline, and we did sell him, so we have a larger transfer budget, which is good. And uh, and so this episode is almost coming to an end. And uh, not much more happens after this. So, so changes so far. We have Miechi off the bench becoming the uh, winger. We also sign Wildcott. Uh, we do, we do uh, get rid of a midfielder for Wildcott in the trade. And uh, we do uh, switch out El Habzi for Sebastian Frey. So that's pretty much the uh, uh, transfer season. And... Uh, so please let me know what you think of this episode. Uh, please comment about what I should do. Subscribe. That's always really important. And like this video. And uh, please go and watch the first episode if you haven't seen that already. And we might have some uh, giveaways soon once we get to some uh, subscriber uh, milestones. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you later.